Hi guys, so today I have for you the ABCs of nail polish tag. Um, I've been meaning to do this for ages but it's taken me a while to, to get all the polishes together and swatch and things like that. Um, I was tagged by Glamour and Nail which is Maureen so thank you for that and I think also Sister Chick Debbie um, she said to me to do it um, so thank you guys for that. So. I've only got 24 polishes, there were two letters that I didn't, well I haven't got um, a polish that fits into those letters, so, um, and I wanted to use all of the polish names rather than doing brands, so I have left those two out. So I'm going to start and uh, make our way through this little pile that I've got here in front of me. So the first polish I've got to show you uh, for A is All Wrapped Up by Morgan Taylor which is this one here, it's a really pretty polish um, it's a bit of a funny looking colour in the bottle it's almost, uh, it's like a purpley with almost a brown look to it um, in a way but it is really pretty on the nail so that one for A is all wrapped up by Morgan Taylor then for B we have Orly Beautiful Disaster not really my cup of tea I have to admit um, but it fitted the category and I have to say that um, I've tried to use all polishes that have been that are untried for me in my collection um, so they're not necessary I've not necessarily chosen my favorites for that letter it, it's just ones that I haven't swatched before so again for B that was Orly Beautiful Disaster then for C I've got a Seati Mini which is called Can Can quite a dark color this one um, if you, I, hopefully you can tell, but it's a, a dark burgundy, this one. So that's Can Can by Seattle for C. For D, I have Sally Hansen Dandelion, which is a new one to my collection. And you can pretty see, it's pretty obvious what colour that is. Um, I did find that this one smelt really strong. I don't know whether it's pregnancy nose or whether they do, so I'd be quite interested to, to know if your guys smell strong. Um, so that's Dandelion by well, Crayola Sally Hansen Insta Dry. So for E, we have another Seattle Mini, and this one is called Encore, which is it's a, like a dark burnt orange colour. Um, it's a bit of a shake actually. So again, that is Encore by Seattle. Um, then for F I have a Sinful Colours, um, again not my favourite shade, it's a pink but it's called Forget Now, um, it's got a, a bit of a shimmer to it as well, so that's Forget Now by Sinful Colours. For G we have Gummy Green by Hard Candy, a really pretty, oh, it's settled a bit sorry, a really pretty uh, sparkly with a mint green base this one so that is Gummy Green by Hard Candy um, next up we have H and I have an Orly uh, this one is called High on Hope and it's a blue with a pink shimmer through it um, it's quite a, a pretty one this one it was a little bit sheer but, um, but again it's a pretty colour you could if you put it on top of a, a blue or something it would probably show up a bit better so that was Orly High on Hope then for I, I have a Nicole by OPI, and it's one of the Ruffle, Ruffles ones, and it's the purple ruffle, and it's called I'm Stucco on You. Um, the these ones, I really like these polishes. Um, I think have I got any more yet? No, I do. I would like to get the others of these. Um, I wish they made them in a polish that wasn't textured as well because the colours are really pretty. Uh, this one's got like a blue fleck in it and like a sort of pinky red fleck in it as well. So that was I'm Stucco on You by Nicole by OPI. Um, another one here is, what letter are we on? J. So for J I've chosen painted polish uh, Jumpin' Jack-O-Lantern. I've had this one for a while, um, but just haven't got round to wearing it yet. This is a really pretty autumn colour with the green and the gold and orange glitters in it. So that's Jumpin' Jack-O-Lantern for J. Next up is K, and for this one I chose uh, Sinful Colours, one of the Kylie Trend mattes. 
and it's called Crushed Velvet Spelt with a K rather than a C. Um, so that's a, it's like a aubergine purpley colour with a gold shimmer through it. So that again was Crushed Velvet by Sinful Colours. The next one is also a Sinful Colours, quite an infamous one this one, um, and it's called Let's Talk, which is probably one of the most popular blurple polishes um, around. Um, so yep, yeah, that's Let's Talk by Sinful Colours. We then have M, um, and I wanted to include a Kiko, so I chose Metallic Pastel Blue which is this one here, um, another pretty one by Kiko. Then for N we have Arda's Nails Nebula, which oh, let's turn it to the side so you can see it's one of these multi-chrome ones here, a uh, very pretty one, one that I won from Claire. Uh, for O I chose O Behave by Essie, which is a peach colour with a gold shimmer through it. Again, that's O Behave. Then for P, I have a Lottie London, and this one is called Peace Out, which is a really lovely royal blue colour. That's Peace Out by Lottie London. Um, Q was unfortunately one of the letters that I couldn't fulfil, um, so if I ever see a polish beginning with Q, I will be sure to pick that one up. Um, so next we have R, which is Ciate again, and this one is called Regatta. So it's, a, it's like a, a denim blue with a silver shimmer to it. Regatta by Ciate. Uh, for S, we've got Arda's Nails, and this polish was absolutely stunning. Um, when I put my swatches on Instagram, there'll be probably three pictures all together of this because I had to just capture it all. Um, and did I say this? Sorry, this one's called Starlight. So Starlight by Arda's Nails. We then have T. For T, I have chosen uh, LA Colours that I've bought recently but hadn't swatched, and it's called Tempt, and it's one of their gels. I've seen a lot of people saying that they really like these gel polishes and I have to agree. So that's Tempt by LA Colours. For you, we have Picture Polish Unicorn. I think this is probably the only one that you'll have seen me show before. Um, so that's again Unicorn. And well, it's by Picture Polish, but it's by Brit Nails. So really pretty one. And for the next letter, which is V, we have a similar sort of colour. And um, I actually saw um, Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 actually check, put this one as her V as well. Um, and it's Illamasqua Venice, which is this green colour. This was a TK Maxx pickup. Uh, so for W, I've chose this gorgeous, gorgeous sparkly Wish You Were Beer by Pretty Serious. If you've seen anybody's swatches of these, you'll just know how sparkly it is. So that's Wish You Were Beer. Then the next letter, X, another one that unfortunately I don't have a polish for. So we'll skip over that one and we'll go to Y. And for Y I have Nicole by OPI Yellow It's Me. Um, this one's yellow with a, a pinky shimmer through it, which you probably can't see on the camera. Um, but quite a pretty one. So Yellow It's Me by OPI. And for Z we have Zen and it's another LA Colours gel. I really love this colour. A uh, really pretty one and obviously with it being a Z it just had to go in there somewhere. So that again is Zen by LA Colours. So whew, there we have it. Quite a lot of polishes to go through there. Um, I hope you enjoyed all of those. I will be putting the swatches up on Instagram soon. I'll do them for 26 days in a row. I know I'm a little bit behind everybody else and I do apologise for that. But thanks for sticking with me guys. So thanks again everybody who tagged me. I tag anyone who hasn't done this tag yet because I think quite a lot of people have done it. Um, but if you haven't been tagged make sure to do it because I love to see what everybody picks. 
thanks for watching. Don't forget to keep subscribing and giving me lots of thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye!